Welcome back to Good Morning Colorado. Hey, live music is back at Red Rocks Amphitheater taking a peek outside right now. It kicked off Thursday night with a live performance by Lotus and looks like this morning plenty of people getting their fitness on. Marty, I feel like this is something you would be doing actually. I know you <laughs> love your exercise. Let's go to check on the forecast. Looks nice outside too, doesn't it? It does look nice outside. I don't know, this time of the day and weekend mornings, I think I'd rather just be sleeping in a little bit. But the job is what it is, so I'm glad to be up here with you all this morning. Looking back towards Pikes Peak, real pretty still with the snow on it and the blue in the background. That's the view from overhead door near Powers and Galley. Uh, trees are trying to get some leaves going. It's a little hard to see in this camera shot on your television. I think about every time they're ready to start opening up the buds a little bit, the weather comes in as it does and everything retreats. Smartly, by the way. <laughs> 30s to around 40 in most of eastern Colorado right now with 20s up across the mountains and mountain valleys. Um, looks like we're going to have some wind this afternoon. It'll be breezy at times with the strongest wind either over the far eastern plains or near the southern mountains and over the San Luis Valley where sustained wind speeds of between maybe 15 and 20 miles an hour should be expected. Now that doesn't sound too bad. We will see some gusts between 20 and 30 miles an hour in those places and that's why the fire weather warnings are up for southern parts of our coverage area. Again, the wind won't be as strong for Colorado Springs, Pueblo, or Canyon City, though we will be a little breezy at times, and we're likely going to see some more cloud cover as we move into the afternoon. Still, the temperatures are going to come around. We'll end up in the 60s and 70s in most of eastern Colorado during the afternoon hours. Leadville today around 48. Gunnison, Salada, Alamosa all going to be in the 60s. We'll probably stay in the 50s around Taylor County. I think around the Pikes Peak region, wind speeds of 10 to 15 miles an hour should be pretty common this afternoon. We'll have a few gusts around 20 and maybe a little higher in Taylor County. Should hit about 60 for Monument and Peyton today, but I do think low to mid 60s should cover it through most of Colorado Springs, maybe upper 60s for Fountain and for Hanover this afternoon. And even Pikes Peak will be around the freezing mark. Along the Arkansas River from Canyon City eastward through Boone, I think we'll be in the lower 70s this afternoon, probably upper 60s near the eastern slopes of Green Mountain here, the Wet Mountain area. Wet Mountain Valley, Westcliff, probably around 60 or so. So again, those temperatures don't look too bad. During the evening, we'll continue with a partly cloudy sky. Might even have enough instability for some scattered light rain or snow showers up across the continental divide through midnight, and then some much drier air will start to work in. Clouds should be on the decrease by tomorrow morning, and I do think it'll be a little warmer tomorrow morning than it has been this morning. But we may still dip briefly into the mid to upper 30s around Colorado Springs and Lyman. Most other areas probably remain in the 40s. Get up high enough into the mountains, then you could have some 20s. Highway 115 in Turkey Creek, looking at some of the high thin clouds coming in across the mountains off to the south and west. We'll track that warmth over the short term and with that increasing chances for fire weather in more areas. And then before too long, we'll turn colder again with a chance for some rain and snow. We'll talk about that in our extended forecast coming up soon. Kershaw, back to you. All right.